Hello, children. I'm Victoria Carlton. You can call me Vicky. And I'm going to read to you a story today that I really love. It's called The Woman at the Well. And it's it's all about water. So I've got a nice glass of water here. I'm just having a sip of my water before I start. We all know that water is very, very important. So this is from the Gospel of John, Chapter 4, and I am telling it to you from the Lectionary Story Bible by Ralph Milton. In the country where Jesus lived, and you can, you can see a little bit of what the country was like behind me, the people were called Jews. A country nearby was called Samaria. The people who lived there were called Samaritans. Those Samaritans are lazy and stupid, some of the Jews said. Often the Jews were a bit mean to the Samaritans. And many people also thought that women were not as good as men. Now, we, we know that's not true. Women should work hard, have babies and keep quiet, some of the men said. Most of the men wouldn't even talk to a woman. Sometimes they were mean to women as well. That's why this story is really important. It shows that Jesus doesn't care whether we are boys or girls, whether we are rich or poor. Jesus doesn't care if we are Jews or Samaritans. He doesn't care about the colour of our skin. He doesn't care if we're fat or skinny. Jesus loves everybody. So here's the story. One day, Jesus was walking through the country called Samaria. This is very, very close to where he lived. He was hot and tired, and you can see, it sort of looks a bit like desert really, doesn't it? And you can see Jesus there. He's got a red, red sash over his robe in this picture. So he's very hot and tired. So he came to an old well, and he sat, he's standing up there, but he actually then sat down and he had a rest because he was really, really hot and tired. Jesus knew about that old well. People used to call it Jacob's well. While Jesus was thinking about the well and about the history of the well, a Samaritan woman came up to the well to get some water. You can see the lady is coming up there and she's got the ladle and she's got a big pottery urn and I've got one a bit like that too, okay? And she was going to fill it up with water and take it back to her family. Jesus looked at her and he said, can I have a drink too, please? What? You are a Jew, she said. I'm a woman and a Samaritan. How come you're talking to me? Jesus smiled at her. If you ask me, I could give you a drink of living water. The woman laughed. How can you give me living water, she asked. You don't even have a cup or anything to get water from the well. If you drink from this well, said Jesus, you will be thirsty again after a while. But if you drink the water that I give you, you will never be thirsty again. The woman understood. She understood Jesus was talking about God's spirit. When God's spirit comes into you, it's like a drink of fresh, cool water. Please give me some of this living water, the woman asked Jesus. So Jesus and the woman had a good talk together. They both sat down on the ground and they had a good talk together. They talked about Jews and Samaritans and about the many ways that people worship God. And after a while, Jesus' friends came by. They had gone into the town to buy some food. Jesus' friends were very surprised to see Jesus talking to a woman, especially a Samaritan woman, but they didn't say anything. The woman was so excited about her new friend, about meeting Jesus, she ran into her town and told all the people what had happened. 
they invited Jesus to come and stay with them. Jesus stayed there for two days. He talked with the Samaritans about God. Jesus reminded them that God's promise was for Jews and for Samaritans and for everyone. It's really for us as well, isn't it? Jesus helped them grow in God's way. Isn't that a really beautiful story? Jesus didn't care what people said about Samaritans. He knew that his father, he knew that God loves everyone. And God loves us too, doesn't he? Thank you very, very much for listening to my story today. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye. For more of Victoria Carlton's tips, go to YouTube and search Victoria Carlton Programs. Victoria's products are available on Teachers Pay Teachers. They cover literacy, emotional intelligence and Sunday school lessons. Victoria's website address, blog and email address are on the screen in front of you. Victoria Carlton reserves the right of copyright on all her products.